All right, so now let's go on with our material for today. We're continuing with graph theory. And today's topic is going to be the issue of planar graphs. Now, this is a surprisingly subtle and complex subject. The basic definition is that a graph is planar if it can be drawn in the plane with no edge crossings. So I start with an exercise. I show two graphs, one on the left, one on the right, and I claim they are both planar. Do you see why? The emphasis in the definition of planar is the word can, that they can be drawn. The one on the left has been drawn with no crossings, and the one on the right has not, but it can be. You can see there's a, a, a K4 in the middle of it, but I can kind of pull one of those crossing edges out and around. And then the others are little dingle dangles things, and I can obviously pull them over to the side and redraw that graph so that there are no crossings. Here's a fact which I, we're not going to prove in this class. If you can draw it with no crossings, you can draw it with no crossings using straight line segments for edges. That's not a totally trivial result. You might think that, well, you know, I, those curved lines, if I can represent an edge with a curve, uh, that might be useful. And when you're drawing them by hand, it's very useful. In fact, if you're drawing them with Adobe Illustrator, it's very useful. But if you can draw them with no crossings, you can draw them with no crossings with straight line segments. We won't prove that result in this class, but just kind of tuck it away and remember it. All right, so the kinds of questions that we would ask, is there anything worth studying here? Do planar graphs have some interesting properties? Do they come up in natural ways? What can be said about parameters like maximum clique size and chromatic numbers? Are there anything about the drawings, plain drawings of them, drawings without crossings? Is there anything that we should sort of pay attention to? And then there is the real applied problem. Given the data for a graph, can you tell whether or not it's planar? Just imagine a big data file for the graph. Can you write a program which at the end of the day will say, yes, this graph is planar, and here's a drawing, or here's how, where you position the vertices, and draw, for example, straight line segments and you for the edges, and you will not get any crossings. And a referee tests your answer and says, yep, that's right. That's a, that's a drawing without any edge crossings. And if you say no, then you can provide a certificate for that no answer that the impartial referee, an another computer, then test your certificate and says, you're right, that graph is non-planar, I believe it. So if you can do both of those, then the problem is G planar would belong to the class P. It's obviously, okay, it's, it's somewhat easy to see that it's in the class NP, but if you can answer both of the questions posed, then Graph planarity testing belongs to the class P. So it's going to take us a little time to get around to that, but we'll, we will get there. But let's start with the kinds of questions that are mentioned in the first one. 